So there was a question earlier about the cheat sheets. You may have two pieces of paper. Each can have front and back, so that makes what? four. Oh, what? Because, <laughs> so, well, my thinking was that you have ones you've already made from your previous exams, so you could bring two of those, you know, so you don't have to redo them. That was kind of the idea. Okay. So you could bring I like it. Yeah. I'm done. Very good. All right. Other questions? Anyone have burning questions? Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> what do people mostly struggle with on the final exam? Huh. That is a really good question. In the past, one of the things that I have seen students struggle with a lot are um, the rainfall hiatus graphs and cumulative mass curves, hmm. and getting mixed up about like whether we're ta they're talking about rainfall intensity versus depth, mm -hmm. and how to go back and forth between like if you know that it rained at a, you know it rained an inch in a half an hour, the intensity is two inches per hour, not one. You know what I mean? Like it, going back and forth between rainfall okay. intensity. And depth, so that's something that always has surprised me that trips people up. So, um, and being able to read, you know, like if you have a hiatus graph, I'll just turn the light on here. I like doing that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, we have here, and rainfall intensity here. This is one hour. You know, to be able to interpret something like that. If I said, what was the intensity for the first 15 minutes? Right? Mm -hmm. So it would be, I don't know, is that 0.6 inches per hour? And then how much? So I, 0.6 inches per hour, or um, T equals 0 to 15 minutes. Um, and then how much rain fell? in that time period. So our depth equals the intensity times the delta T. So that's going to be 0.6 inches per hour times 0.25 hours, which, what does that end up being like? Um, 0.1. Well, intent, intensity is inches per hour, so yeah. this is already in, in inches per hour here. Um, so it's converting it to depth. And so to get the intensity, all you do is read it off the graph, right? So in, for the second 15 minutes, the intensity was one inch per hour. For the third 15 minutes, I don't know, 0.8, right? So to get the intensity, just read it off the graph. And then to get the depth, multiply by the time increment. In this case, that time increment is the 15 minutes. And if we wanted to make a cum cumulative mass curve, so we would have time, and we would have accumulated rainfall in inches. We start out at zero at 15 minutes we would be at 0 0.15 inches. And then we would calculate the depth for each time interval and accumulate that rate. Yeah? So for accumulating like 15 minutes to 30 minutes, mm -hmm. you would just still do the times 0.25? Yep, so, for the, so let's say we did that next time increment. So, so for T equals 15 to 30 minutes. I is one inch. And so the depth 
is, oh, oh sorry, it's one inch per hour. Whew, pardon me, starting to mess that up. One inch per hour times 0.25 hours. So that was 0.25. So now we need to add 0.25 to 0.15, so we're at 0.4. Three, um, 0.45, even the scoopy scale I'm using now, and 0.6. So for 30 minutes, we would be up about here. Sorry, I actually just got to be my hair. I need more light. Right there. Something like that. And then we would do the same thing for the next time period and then add it and so you're you're just accumulating that right now. The time period with the highest intensity should have the steepest slope. So the slope on the cumulative mass curve tells us the rainfall intensity. The flatter the slope, the lower the rainfall. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>